In this video, we'll be seeing the next problem on equivalence relation. We have already seen two problems for the same. The first problem was a MCQ problem, multiple choice question problem with some options and we had to choose which was the correct one. The second problem was a working problem where we needed to solve. This problem is also a working problem. Let's get started and see what the question has to say. Let's read the question together. Check whether the relation R, A, B, wherein A cube greater than equal to B cube. This symbol is what? This is greater than or equal to. Is an equivalence relation. This we need to check. And the condition is given that you need to check it for all real numbers. Now it is not possible to check it for all the numbers one by one. You cannot substitute and put the values. So what we can do is we can generalize the solution by taking three categories, reflexive, symmetric and transitive. If it follows for all three, it means it is an equivalence relation. And if it doesn't, it means it is not an equivalence relation. Let's see and get started. I'll put the heading reflexive. Reflexive. Now, relation is given to me a cube greater than equal to b cube. Now, for a reflexive relation, I know that if every element is related to itself, that means it is a reflexive relation. Can we substitute b for a? Yes, I can replace a by b or b by a. a that is my wish. Let's see. I have this relation a b such that a cube greater than equal to b cube. When we replace b by a, what do we find out? We find out that a cube greater than equal to a cube is what we obtain. Is it correct? Is it true? Is it valid? Yes, because every number is greater than equal to its cube. I have this equality sign which will help me out in finding the validity of it. So yes, I find that this is reflexive. Now we'll see whether this relation is symmetric and transitive. We have already seen that this is reflexive. Let's see whether this relation is symmetric. I'll write the heading for you that it is symmetric or not. We'll have to check it. Yes, we can check it with the help of some examples or we can have a generalized approach for the same. I prefer working with examples as it is more easier and easy to understand. So if I have two and one as A and B belonging to R, I know that 2q is greater than or equal to 1q. This is true, this is valid. Now if I interchange the places, that means 2, 1 belongs to R, I have to check whether 1, 2 also belongs to R. If yes, then it is symmetric. We need to move on to the next step to check whether it is transitive or not. But in case it is no, then directly I can say that it is not an equivalence relation. I don't need to go for transitivity as well. So, okay, let's check whether 1, 2 belongs to R or not. So, 1, 2 belongs to R or not. Let's check the same. 1 cube greater than equal to 2 cube. 1 cube is 1. 2 cube is 8. Is 1 greater than 8? No. So this is incorrect, this is not followed and hence this is not symmetric and since it is reflexive but not symmetric, I do not need to check further whether it is transitive or not because all three reflexive, symmetric and transitive have to be followed for the presence of equivalence relation. That is why out of these two, which I have already checked, I can easily say that this relation is not an equivalence relation. Why? Because it was reflexive, but it wasn't symmetric. So why do I need to waste my effort and time for transitive? So 
This was the third sample problem on equivalence relation.